So, if she asks for sharing screen, then a very good afternoon to all present over here today. I, Dr. Anjali Gupta, on behalf of Kita Ratan International Business School welcome you all to the personality development workshop on positive attitude building. Gita Ratan International Business School was established in the year 2004. Gita Ratan in, in, International Business School is affiliated to Guru Govind Singh in the Press University Delhi and is approved by All India Council of Technical Education, Ministry of HRD, Government of India for technical programs and Bar Council of India for law programs. Gibbs is currently offering postgraduate programs like MBA, MBA International Business, and MCA Integrated, and under undergraduate programs, it is running with BBA, LLB, BA, LLB, and BBA. Geeta Ratan has been graded A by National Assessment and Accreditation Council in second cycle. It is an ISO 9001, 2008 certified institute. Gibbs has been rated A plus by State Fee Regulatory Committee, a fee committee of Government of NCT of Delhi, and rated highest grading A by Joint Inspection Committee of Government of NCT of Delhi and GDSIP University. Gibbs has been rated grade A by Academic Audit Cell of GDSIP University consecutively for last eight years. Also, Gibbs has been rated number two by Times B School Survey consecutively in 2018 and 2019. At Gibbs, thrust is on overall personality development of students so that they can face the challenges in their competitive professional life with value-based approach. Apart from providing quality education, Emphasis is also placed on developing leadership qualities, risk-taking abilities, and the decision-making skills right from the beginning of their professional education. Going by this agenda, the Institute conducts personality development workshops on a regular basis. This workshop on positive attitude building is a sequel to the aforementioned objective. As the topic for today's workshop is positive attitude building, positive attitude is not something which a person is born naturally with. It is developed and practiced over a period of time. With proper guidance and nurturing of a person in initial phases of life, one can ensure that positive attitude is embedded in one's personality. Positive attitude does not provide a solution to the problem, but it provides the mental stability to tackle the problems. The main objectives of the today's workshop are to understand comprehensively what is positive attitude and its essential constituents, to identify various tools which can be used for generating positive attitude, to comprehend the importance of positivity, and to analyze the benefits positive attitude ensures and the determinant a negative attitude can lead to. A guest speaker of the day is Professor Monica Sethi Sharma, Director, PGDM Business Design and Innovation, and Deputy Director, UG Programs of UBS Mumbai. Ma'am, you are welcome. She is an astute academician with more than two decades of academic experience with best of the institutes and universities across the country. She completed Doctorate of Philosophy 15 years back in training and development. Her main domain is HR and has expertise in organizational behavior and customer behavior, organizational development, and organizational change. Ma'am, in her chariot academic career, has debuted her career with Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla University. Thereafter, she joined at BI uh, Bits Pilani, forwarded at Bits Goa. She also served her academic duty at 
DIM80, where apart from her passion for teaching, she was also heading the HRM department academically, Institute Industrial Interface, and Management Development Programs. She then served at SPGN Mumbai and also been a visiting faculty at coveted IIM Raipur. Dr. Monica was taken over leadership position as the head of School of Commerce and Management and Research, ITM University, Raipur, and could build the university from zero to one. She has been recognized for outstanding contribution towards teaching, honored with Best Teacher Award, and in contributing toward research, she also got Best Paper Award, apart from good publication in Scopus General. She is a popular trainer in industry and worked closely with industry on research projects, case studies, and consultancy. She has been a lifetime mentor, coach, and inspiration of lives for her students. It is indeed a great pleasure to have such an eminent person with us. Now I request ma'am to kindly start with the session. Ma'am, please do start with the session. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Anjali, for your very kind words. And very good afternoon, students. How many are present? I can see 72 in number. I hope everybody is there. Okay. Very rightly said by ma'am that attitude is making your mental stability so as you can solve the problem. Student, you are in such a beautiful age that may whatever we achieve, you know, if Today also, I personally feel that I must have not dreamt what I have achieved today, but given me a chance, now I feel that if this is my potential, wish I can go back to my that 25th year when I was at your age, when I could have changed the world more, where I could have added more things in my, as my skills, as my attitude. So student, this is a very beautiful life where you people are. So there are many things which can be added in your life. One very important thing is attitude. So this one, one and a half hours, we will be talking about how do we enhance, how do we enhance our attitude? That is important, right? So it is a belief that I will be able to do something good for one hour. I just want you all to be there mentally and physically present in this particular talk. Let's start with a very positive note. When we talk about attitude, student, uh, you know, if you have to rate every word, like if I rate A as one, you know, those capital letters, if we rate it, like how, how well they are being placed, then you can see even the word attitude, that is A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E, stand for 100 marks. That is, it's an attitude which can really bring the change. We always say it is the knowledge, it is the skills, and the third one, that is a wish. A attitude, a positive attitude to do something. So that is something which is very important. We will have lots of stories today. We will be talking about our life experience. If you will be allowed to participate, I love to listen to you people also, right? So attitude, when we talk about attitude is something which you think and you feel about it. Your attitude towards someone is the way you believe that you will be able to deal that or you will be able to show that how you are being able to feel about it, right? Let me have a very beautiful uh, example which everybody says that is positive attitude and negative attitude. Usually a cup of uh, or the glass of water is being kept and we always say, that what kind of an attitude you see is that it's half filled or it is half empty, right? It was something like a soldier says to a major that, so we are surrounded from all the sides from the enemy, 
the reply of the major comes excellent that means we can at attack at any direction this is what an attitude is or it could have been the uh, you know the major could have said oh my god what should we do you know we have enemy everywhere so it is an attitude which is very important i'll give you one more example there was a um, there was a salesman at uh, bata company and they were supposed to launch bata shoes at south india it was at down at chennai they had to introduce i'm talking about 40 years back so when they went there like when the salesman went there he immediately he called up the manager and he said so we cannot sell the shoes here it will be a very very wrong uh, business to do it over here he says okay come back he sent another person the other person calls him up and he says so we have a business over here i can see lots of uh, lots of people who can wear my shoes now this gentleman he calls both the sales person and he asked them that what did you see in the chennai so the salesman one who said we cannot do the business there he replies sir i saw at south people don't wear shoes maximum he says maximum they wear the rubber slippers you know those bata slippers he says maximum what i could see was the bata slippers he says they were not wearing shoes at all so when they were not wearing shoes then how do i see a business there so the manager asked the salesman too he says the feedback which he is giving is that right so he says yes sir what he has said is absolutely right even i saw the same status there that people do not wear the shoes he says if people doesn't wear the shoes then from where will do the business he said sir this is what i said we can do the business because people didn't have shoes there so i can only see that they were not wearing shoes i could only see that we didn't have the competitor i didn't see that that they're going to wear it or not because it's me who will make them wear so this is two people going to a same place working for a same organization but it is an attitude which makes the difference to the business please understand student it is important for you as a management student to understand this why it is important for you to understand this because you are going to make changes after one one and a half years or after two years as soon as you complete your mba so i don't want any of you become the salesman one i'll prefer that you give contribution as the salesman two i hope you all agree can i see some reaction can i see some chatting can i see some uh, um you know some thumbs up or something or the other so as i'm been motivated hello students can we see something some reaction coming up okay over here now usually we say that attitude is like an iceberg that is only the behavior of an individual is being shown rest we say it like you know 10% iceberg is usually like it is only the 10% it has been shown rest 90% it is hidden it is hidden under the water so it has been said that the attitude the motives the ethics the belief the values the standards the judgment everything come together and it makes an attitude of an individual and that attitude's reflection it's been shown as the behavior 
or it has been reflected you know there are only three things which will be reflected if you are been watching me or if you have been listening to me it is only the three things you can uh, watch on me one that what is my um, attitude or my behavior towards you people another one is my knowledge another one is my skills skills can be my communication skills knowledge can be how much i know about the subject and my behavior is how i am behaving at the time of delivering the lecture so this is the only three things which you can see you cannot see the hidden ones you cannot see what is my belief of giving lectures to you what is my motive of giving lectures to you what is the value system which i carry why i am here you know those are all hidden so only the visible part is my behavior only the visible part is my knowledge only the visible part is my skills so when it comes to an attitude attitude gives a push to your behavior it gives a push to your knowledge it gives a push to your skills so that is very very important now as a student you should always write it down student you should always try to write it down that where you want to be and where are you today when i say where you want to be then it is very very important that you talk about that what you are looking forward what is your belief system now at this particular time what is your belief system how do you want to carry your life what do you want to become after 5 years after 10 years after 15 years for that what are the skills which are been required to showcase to the world what kind of a knowledge you will be requiring so you should be very clear that what are my 10% which will be shown to the world and then according to that 10% 90% is your homework which you need to do and that is very important see student i'll tell you something a uh, very interesting uh, very um, sweet story i always share this to my student uh, you know there were two brothers and those two brothers had um, uh, had a wonderful life they had their own motives but the visible part after 20 years was that one brother was declared uh, he he got declared as one of the richest man of the country when he was being declared as one of the richest man of the country the interview was being taken and while the interview was being going on somebody asked him somebody asked him that so you are so rich you are so good as a father you are so good as a husband you are so good as a boss what make you do such good things so the answer comes from him was it is because of my father and he smiles now there was one journalist who was interested knowing that what did this a uh, boy's father could have done in, in his early ages why he has given all the credit to the father usually after the marriage the husbands give the credit to the wife or to the mother but it is very rare that a uh, son gives the credit to the father so that journalist what he did was he went to his village over there he asked the village people he said that xyz he is one of the uh, greatest businessmen in new york what his father was been doing the village people we call it as sub town there they said his father was not a good father he has his twin brother also over here you may go and talk to him now the journalist was shocked he said that he has to go and meet to the brother 
So when he went and met the younger brother, the twin brother, you know, uh, just one or two seconds younger to him, he went there and he met that uh, younger brother. He found that the younger brother was horrible. He was a poor man. He was a drunkard and almost he has ruined his life. So now this journalist, he got lots of curiosity. He asked him, he says, Sir, why you are like this? He says, I'm because of my father. And suddenly this journalist, he got connected. He says, there is one brother who's the richest man in the New York. Another one is at the subtown and he's saying he is because of father. And even he says he's because of father. He says, sir, why because of father you have ruined your life? He says, because my father was a drunkard. He used to beat my uh, mother. He never cared for our education and we didn't study well and uh, he has ruined our life. So I'm so frustrated. I, I hate him, blah, blah, blah. Now, the journalists go back to the rich man in the New York and he asks him, he says, sir, you told me last week that you are successful because of your father. He says, yes, I do say that. He says, sir, but I met your brother. He says, okay. And he says, your brother said, or your brother gave me a very, very negative feedback of your father. He says, okay. He says, sir, it was been told to me that your father was a drunkard. He used to beat your mother. He never bothered about your studies. He says, yes. And from that childhood, my value systems, my ethics, my motive was always telling me that when I will get older or when I will become uh, young enough to earn my bread, when I'll become a father, I'll be an excellent father. I'll be not like my father. He says, I promise that day that when I will have my sons, I will give them the best education in the world. And for that, I had to earn. So I started working day and night and because I wanted to become a good father and that's the reason I started working so hard. So this was an attitude. This was an attitude which changed, which changed my life. You know, student, this is an importance of attitude. Next. Attitude, it is something, a chance of a success. The moment we say, I think I can do it, I will do it, I did it, 100% you will be able to do it. But the moment if you say, I want, I cannot, I wish, I can. The moment you say all those words, that means you are well prepared that you will be not able to do it, right? Then the life positioning, the life positioning is usually attitude towards others and attitude towards ourselves. This is like X axis and the Y axis. X axis talks about attitude towards other. What is my attitude towards other? My attitude towards other can be positive, it can be negative. Attitude towards oneself, that is attitude towards self, it can be negative or it can be positive. So according to that, my life positioning will be done. Say, for example, attitude towards others and attitude towards me, both are negative. Then my life is like, I'm not okay, you're not okay. Aap bhi gande, mein bhi gande. We both are gandas. You know, so I'm not good, you're not good. Right? But if you have good attitude about others but not good attitude about self that means i'm not okay you're okay that means usually the students say like that you know my answer paper whatever i have written was not right so you know whatever the marks you have given next attitude towards oneself that means Attitude towards oneself, I'm good, I'm okay, you're not okay, 
the other student sir maine to exam mein sab kuch likh diya tha i wrote everything in the examination it is a fault of an examiner that he has not given me the marks because my perception and his perception it is different you know my answers cannot be wrong because they were my answers but it cannot be right for my sir because or my teacher because maybe her perception was wrong right so this is the situation of the life but we all have to go for the fourth situation that is i'm okay you are okay that means i'm also fine and you are also fine that means i'm also having a very positive attitude and you also have a very positive attitude for the others one hour now left with half an hour will be productive it will be productive if we all will be working towards personal effective becoming the habit see student if you remember um we all brush the teeth when we get up at morning we all brush the teeth it is not that we don't brush the teeth uh, apart from the winters every day we take the bath we all take bath right so what has uh, happened is it has become like an habit to us you know suddenly you have developed an habit that you have to brush the teeth you have to take bath you have to do your prayers and then you have to go for your work or you have to go for your college or maybe online so what has happened is your personal effectiveness has become your habit so over here again the same uh, diagram it explains if you are conscious unconscious ineffective and effective right again the four boxes unconscious and ineffective neither you are conscious nor you are effective neither you want to do it or uh, you know you are not bothered doing it as well as you are ineffective so that can be okay ma'am ne bola hai attend karne ke liye i'll be there but i may have my lunch or maybe i'll have my chat or uh, uh, maybe um, you know there can be many maybes right so this can only happen when i am unconscious as well as i am ineffective i know i cannot do it right another one is i'm conscious i want to do it i'm aware that what has to be done but i'm ineffective that means i i want to do it but i'm ineffective that only leads to pain i want to speak i want to uh, you know stand on the stage and uh, and sing but i i can't sing my voice is bad mujhe sur taal ka kuch pata nahi hai so what it will happen it will only lead to the pain it will only lead to that pain that oh i don't know how to sing you getting my point the third uh, the third box over here is unconscious i am unconscious but i am very effective you know from our childhood our parents would be go on telling us brush your teeth take your bath go for your prayers brush your teeth do your prayers or oh, sorry take the bath do your prayers at night brush your teeth uh, do your prayers and sleep they will always say likh likh ke padho you know write and read you unconsciously you are been doing it think it over the parents who have really worked and writing unconsciously you started writing good so unconsciously you have become effective you're getting my point you don't know what you know so that becomes your habit then conscious and effective that means you know what you know that's the best thing we call it as you also know that what you know and you know that what you want to know this is the best thing which you should always have it with yourself right the next slide it's it talks about when you have everything in your life that is 
you should have a very, very positive attitude. Because student, it is the attitude which makes lots of differences. And with an attitude, there is another word which is very important, which I want to discuss with you is perceptions. Actually, perception believes. It makes a lot of difference in bringing up your attitude. Now, if I talk about perception, how do you perceive? There is another management story that there used to be one um, um there was uh, how do i place it i don't know um you know usually in a village if you people uh, go to a village in a village you will see um there will be a a tree outside uh, the village and there will be um one sadhu baba or uh, you know one kind of a pradhan will be always sitting there Previously, that used to be done when the people used to walk into the village. They used to keep an eye. They used to be like, you know, those senior people used to sit there. Um, they used to call it as chabutras, you know. Those big people used to sit there. They used to keep a watch on who is coming to the village, who is going out of the village. So there was one person who was, there was one sadhu who was coming to the village. and um, And he asked, he asked uh, that, um, how is the village to that uh, Pradhan? The Pradhan said, um, you tell me, Sadhu, from where are you coming? Aap kaha se aa rahe hai? And um, aapka purana gaon kaisa tha? Now this Sadhu, he says, the last village from where I am coming was horrible. People over there were horrible. I was so unhappy there, so I shifted from there. And I wanted to come to this village. I heard this village is good. Now, the Pradhan, he says, he says, no, this village is not good, sir. Please, aap aage chale jaiye. The next village is very good. So the people were being sitting there. He says, why he said this? Because we all are good. Now there was another sadhu after half an hour, he came there. And he also asked the same thing. He says, uh, I'm coming from the other village and um, I want to stay in this village. How is this village? So again, Pradhan asked him the same thing. Sir, aap bataiye, from where are you coming? And how was your last experience? He says, my last experience was excellent. People over there were very, very good. They were very cooperative. They really loved me. It is only that I have a principle that I should not stay at one place more than uh, six months. So I have moved out of that place. So Pradhan immediately got up and he folded his hands and he says, so please enter my village. Now everybody was looking at him and they said, so why did you do this? To one man, you're saying this village people were bad. To another man, you're saying the village is good. He says, you know why I said? Because it is something you, uh, you experience in life, what you do to others. It is a perception. He says it is very important for you to understand who are the people who are entering your village. If they have a good perception, then only they will be a good human. So this is a, a very famous diagram about the perception. It can be the old man and the old woman, but you can also see there, there is a happy man singing also, you know, in that face, you can see a lady also sitting somewhere. There are so many things in this particular uh, picture, which you people can see, right? So I can, I can see some, okay, I can see some very beautiful, uh, okay, good afternoons. Okay, anything uh, till now is everything is clear? Till now, everything is clear? 
It's so nice to, I just wanted to say hi to everybody in the chatting. Is everything, is everything is clear? Are we going with right attitude? Yeah, okay. So um, when we talk about um, this particular picture, this particular picture, it says that this diagram, they have different faces. It has a face of an old man, it has a face of a young lady, it has a face of singing young boy, it has a face of dancing boy. So it has lots of things. So one particular picture can have a different perception. Similarly, at one angle you feel that you are right, at other angle you may feel it is wrong. Very famous example of six and nine. Six from the other side, you may feel for the other person, it can be nine. So usually it is very, very important for you to understand. When we talk about perception, you need to understand that how important it is to understand the other's point of view. There is a very sweet story which I thought I should share it with you people. There was, um, there was a boy, he had a blind mother with him. When he was small, when he grew up, when he understood what is the difference between the beautiful and an ugly face, he found his mother was very ugly to look at. He found that uh, the eyes of the mother was being taken out, so she was really she she was been looking very very ugly and um and he felt that everybody's mother was so beautiful why god has given me such an ugly mother his mother was been working at principal's house one of the very good schools principal's house she used to work she used to work as a maid there as a help there so he started um, studying because he heard his mother saying that if my son study well, we can send him to the boarding, we can send him to the best boarding. And the principal used to say yes. And this boy, because he didn't want it uh, to be called as the son of that mother, because once that mother came to the school and everybody started, uh, uh, you know, everybody started the, uh, running and they they said that we will not have friends with him because his mother looks uh, like a devil and uh, this boy used to get very annoyed with he thought that um, you know i will i will try to go away from my mother so this boy he started studying very hard because he knew that Anything which can take him off from the mother was only the study in the good school. So he started really studying very hard. So when he started studying very hard, he scored well and he went to the different both schools in his scholarship. After that, he became an engineer. He started doing his job. He was very happy. Um, even um, he got a girlfriend, he wanted to marry and girl's parents asked, what about your parents? He says, I don't have any parent because he was so afraid that nobody should see his ugly mother. So they said, okay, fine. He got married and all. And uh, then finally um, he got a letter from the mother saying that I'm so happy to know that uh, you got married um god bless you all and this and that the lady asked the wife asked you said you never had a mother then who's she he says no no it's okay uh, you know ignore 
then he thought that he should say uh, right thing to her and he says okay fine she's a mother it's mother of mine she says okay at least inform because uh, she was carrying and they blessed with the son she said at least you should inform your mother that she has become a grandmother and this boy he informed the principal that i got uh, a son so the mother was so excited she 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 flew and she she came to him with lots of gifts for his grandson and um, a gift for the wife when she entered the house everybody got afraid because she was so ugly looking everybody started shouting that oh my god uh, you know who has entered the house now this boy he went there on the door and he says see you ugly lady every time right from my childhood i was been listening to this that i am a child of a evil i am a child of a ugly lady and that's the reason i studied so hard and i wanted to become something so as i i get rid of you and today when i am been settled in my life till now you come over here and you trouble me is that a right way of of leading with your son if you love your son please go away from him mother only said that i'm i'm sorry son i'll never come again he says yes you don't she went back but from that day she was not keeping well finally one day a principal called up saying that you have lost your mother but she has kept few things for you and i think you should come there and um, you should come there Dr. Monica, uh, you are not audible. Monica, ma'am, am I audible to you? Students, just wait. I'm just locating uh, the problem. Dr. Monica, you are not audible to us. Monica, ma'am, you are not audible to us.
Am I audible to you, students? Am I audible to you? You can write in chat box, yes. Am I audible to you, students? Okay, fine. I'm just locating the problem with that. I will be with us. Yes, yes, yes. I have heard that you people are able to listen to me. Okay, we are just locating the problem. Kindly be with us. Fine. It was just an interesting session. Very interesting session going on. Anjana, are you able to hear me? Anjana, are you able to hear me? Ma'am, I'm audible to you. Yes, yes, you are audible to me. Actually, all of a sudden, ma'am's voice stopped coming. Yeah, actually, she, uh, you know, because of some technical glitch, she has left the room. Uh, we are just been. Okay, otherwise, on my channel, it is showing that Dr. Monica is there. Okay, fine, students, we are just locating the problem. Be with us. Yeah, it's a very good session going on on positive attitude building. You can, meanwhile, you can just think of the questions till till now. Whatever doubts you have, you can just put your questions in chat box so that we can raise these questions to ma'am. Thank you, Vikas. You have written that you are enjoying a lot. Definitely, when I am enjoying because it's a wonderful session. You know, at any age, you can learn how to build positive attitude. Take a bachelor. You can write the questions in the chat box. Whatever questions you have up till now, will raise to ma'am. Hey, sorry, students. I'm so sorry. Suddenly something happened and uh, that um, I just got vanished. Yeah. So um, we were on that particular story where uh, the child come, uh, sorry, the mother comes to see the child and uh, the child says that uh, you have troubled me at my uh, young age. Please do not trouble me over here now. Mother feels very bad. She goes back. The principal gives a letter to the son that your mother is not well. She is going to die and she's almost in the dead bed. You please come and visit her. The son goes there and he found his mother was dead. But there was a letter and there were few things which was being kept. He saw those things. It was all his childhood memories. It was all his mark sheets. It was uh, all the money which he earned and he gave some time to his mother, everything was being kept as well as he saw a form, a form of donating her eyes. Then he found that there was a letter kept for her. And in that particular letter, he 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 read that letter and in his letter the mother wrote the mother asked somebody to write he says son i was so happy to see you married i was so happy i wish i had my eyes to see you happy i wish i had my eyes to see my grandchild i wish i had happy to see your big house where you were being staying but i could not he, she says, because I wanted my child to see those good things. He says, when you were born, you were born without eyes. It was me who donated immediately my eyes to you because I said, 
if my son cannot see the beautiful world then it is no sense of me to become uh, to be a beautiful lady he said that everybody when you were born everybody started saying he's an ugly child he doesn't have his eyes and i wanted my eyes to be given to you and you to look beautiful so this was that mother's story this was that perception which a child always had in his mind that his mother is ugly and he had to do the whole perception it just changed he saw a form when he was born his mother has donated his eyes to the child and all the struggle which mother was been facing because she was blind so this was something from the other side he was seeing six and the mother could see nine so students it's always important that you should understand the other side of the coin also you should always understand what he or she wants so that is very important for you as at the sage we say that in the attitude these are the five things for the perception your sight your hearing your touch your taste and your smell what you see not always is right what you hear is not always right what you touch cannot be always true what you taste has lots of story behind it what you smell can be also wrong but these five things makes your perception change accordingly and that is very important this is a story of uh, five uh, four blind men they were like the friends and uh, they always used to go together because one was blind they all were like blind but they always wanted to be together so one fine day those blind uh, four blind friends they saw a elephant when they saw a elephant they started fighting among themselves because four friends were been holding elephant in a different way one friend was holding the tail of the elephant he says it is a rope it is not a elephant it is a rope there was another he was holding the a body he says oh it's a big wall the third one was holding the legs he says oh my god it is like a tree the last one was holding the tongue he says the trunk he says oh my god it is it is a snake so four friends four blind men situation is the same one elephant but this is how they are being perceiving differently to the different people so attitude is something i don't have an attitude problem you have a perception problem usually we always say this that you don't i don't have an attitude problem you have a perception problem about me please remember student you are at that particular age where you must be feeling like that you know i don't have an attitude problem it is your perception i'm right you know i'm in the 6 you are in the 7 but please remember at this age it is important for you to show your skills your knowledge your attitude your positive attitude so as you can grow in your life that is very important as a teachers you have to opt for a change and whenever the change is there we have four reactions it's important that you are aware that what kind of a reaction would be better right so it's always better to have less anxiety smile and adopt the change whatever you can so can we do it can we bring up the change that is very important can we really do it yes we can and when we can we can only say that 
say you can do it never say it is impossible do not complain with your work work is i i i really got passionate for working i always say do not complain for the work work is something which makes us alive work is something which makes us feel that oh we are being connected to the world work hard plan your works that's very important and always try to find someone very awesome today and say that you were awesome you should always try to appreciate people that is something which is very very important smile that is very important not doing is good but but not doing at all is bad be open be balanced and think right towards people appreciate people that is very important check your priorities check when what how has to be done priorities are very very important for you action plan as a management student start taking up your action plans start thinking how you can achieve them now the time for question answers do you have any questions can we plan up can we do something over here ma'am can we open up the forum for the question answer please yeah, uh, yes ma'am am i yeah, audible to you are, please yeah uh, we have asked the students students if you are having any questions please write in the chat box ma'am i think we can allow them to uh, can we allow them to go question me Um, you know. Ma'am, on this particular yeah, platform, it would be difficult. They can only write. Students, any questions, please? Yeah. Suppose we deal. Okay. How to schedule your day? Oh, very nice. Disha is asking me, how do we schedule our day? You have to schedule your day according to your priorities, Disha. What is your priority? That's very important. You should know. that what is your priority for the day but only my thing is whenever you start your day when you schedule your days give a smile to yourself and say my day is going to be the productive one today my day is going to be a better day than yesterday and i'm going to do something good i'm going to appreciate someone right so that is something which will be very important that it is muskan muskan is saying suppose we deal some kind of a racism in the corporate so how do we deal with it um racism in the corporate it's how do we deal with it in a positive way see it again it depends upon situation to situation uh when we say it is racism it should not be first very important thing and if it is then i personally feel if it is on us or if it is on others if you are being um, well skilled if you are being more knowledgeable then you can avoid that i personally feel that's the only answer uh can criticism be taken positively yes i personally feel yes you know long back even kabi said the same nindak neere rakhiye it is something like you should always keep the critics around because it is not that they demotivated it is something like they have so much time to point out your mistakes nobody will do it my child it is only few who has so much interest on you they will go on telling you that this is wrong you know so we have an opportunity to improve upon so i personally feel yes criticism should be taken positively when the things are going bad like depressing oh my god so that time how to keep calm and positive beta i personally feel why you are supposed to be depressed because depression is something which you are been dependent upon somebody i personally feel we should not get dependent upon someone for our happiness if you say that 
um, I'm a happy individual. If I say I'm a happy individual, then nobody, uh, you know, or other way is like I'm being dependent upon my friends, I'm being dependent upon my family that, you know, if they will be happy, they'll keep me happy. It, it doesn't happen all the time, Bacha. So it is always important that you keep yourself happy and depressing no no that should not be bache at I, I i i really don't know how to overcome this word of depression at this particular age but that's something not very very important i personally feel because the world is beautiful bacha enjoy that okay uh i all i always feel motivated actually but then I have doubt that I'm doing right or not. Oh, yes, you should. You are right. Come on. I'm equally, I always feel very motivated. Up on the sky. Yes. How to develop personality for a reputed companies? It is nothing to do with the personality. It is to do with your skills. So it is very, very important that how do you upgrade your skills? And when you talk about the reputed companies, student, it is important to check out where you want to work, at what post you want to work, and why should they take you, and how do you enhance your skills, right? How to, oh my God, they ask so many questions. How do I control the stress level? How do we control the stress level? Again, the answer comes the same, that with a good positive uh, um, note that the stress will be only when you are not being prepared. When you will be prepared, I don't think there can be stress level, right? How to build positive attitude in day-to-day -day life? Appreciate people. That's important. Appreciate people. It is so important to appreciate people around. Appreciate people think everybody is for you think that you can do something for others think that your day will be productive thank you so much children it was really great chatting with you all i hope i could answer you um you people can be in touch with me in my personal id uh, ma'am and sir can give you my personal id also as well as i'm typing it it's Monica Sethi Sharma at gmail.com and I can be in touch with you and uh, I can help you the way um, if I can be a help to you it will be a great for me right anything else students anything else I hope I was being able to uh, no, Monica. Yes, one of there is one more question which was very really early raised by uh, Muskan Alam. I'm so sorry, sorry I missed it, ma'am. Uh, there is one question which is raised by Muskan Alam that suppose we deal with some kind of racism in corporate, so how we can deal with that in a positive way? Yes, ma'am, I answered that actually. I answered that particular Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, thank you, uh, Monica, ma'am. Uh, indeed, it was a wonderful, enlightened session back to the old days, you know, uh, listening to so much good stories, you know, attitude changes everything. Yes, absolutely correct, ma'am. And I hope the students are going to dwell towards the positive attitude because uh, today, you know, after this pandemic, I suppose this is highly required. Because the way we have been seeing the things in and around, you know, that is only which can help us, you know, to come further. Looking forward for future association with you, ma'am. And thank you so much for your valuable time uh, to spare with these students a great learning in a very, very defined and, you know, uh, I think simple thank way. Thank you so much. It was thank beautiful, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, student. God bless you all. Bye-bye.